You remember our project? I got this whole room done. Do you remember all that? That was about a year ago. Floated out all the walls, made them nice and smooth and painted it. Installed that wall hung TV up there behind that. Got the baseboard installed, nicely painted and caulked. The hardwood floor installed. The cabinet installed with the DVD player that hooks up to the TV. All the nice casing down at the bottoms. Put bullnose trim around this door frame to match the windows. Put outside corner bead on that little block wall column. Painted that, finished it. This used to be the concrete wall, do you remember? And we glued that baseboard up against the wall. Painted around the window frame. We did all kinds of stuff in here. You remember all that? Got the ceiling done, painted the around the uh, light fixtures. Kind of going in circles here now. Took that accordion door down, put the trim up, painted it, caulked it, nailed it up there, made it all look nice. Well, I'm showing this to you for a reason. Do you remember why now? Do you remember this other room over here? No, we were in this room before and I had plastic up against that door opening, remember? That other area was all crappy over there. Needed to be painted, heavy spray texture on the walls, everything the same that was over in that room over there. Well, I'm almost done with this side now. Check this out. Got the floor in, painted it, did everything, and everything is looking really nice. It's all matching up to this side over here. But there's a few more things I got to do and I want to talk about that right now. Things are shaping up over here. This room is going to turn out exactly like the other rooms. So the idea is that when you come in here everything is the same. Everything matches. Got everything painted up against there. The ceiling, the walls, all that. Well I still got a few things to do and here's Here's one of the things I still have to do. See that? I just painted all my baseboard and uh, it turned out really nice. It's always good to paint your baseboard before you install it. Then after I nail it up there, I'll caulk it and uh, touch up the nail holes and, and, and do some touch up painting on it. Then um, it'll be all nicely finished. Better to do that than to paint right down against the, the floor. You know what I mean? And this time, instead of cutting it with my little hand miter box plastic one, I'm going to show you how to use this guy right here. Compound electric miter saw. We're going to use that to cut this base. And then I'm going to install it. Um, I'll put that trim down at the bottom of it. Got some other trim here that goes over there by the sliding glass doors. And usually when I, get, when I get done with the job, I like to make it all look nice and finished. And this right here was a brown light switch and it had a brown cover plate on it. Well, I'm not going to leave that because that's going to look hokey. You know, so I'm going to install this nice white light switch right there. Won't that look the good against the white windows and the nice chiffon yellow paint. That'll, that'll look really nice. That'll dress that up. Won't cost very much to do that. Okay, and then, hmm, I got some plugs here too. And I've got some plugs down here on the wall. And some of these are good plugs. Now see that plug right there? That looks all nice, right? Now look at this one. You see anything wrong with it? Get you right down there. That's a brown, a dark brown plug and it's been painted over so it looks like the other ones. How hokey is that? And they installed it upside down and the little ground areas right here are broken off. So I'm going to take that off and replace that with a new plug. I'm looking over here, same thing. Here's a nice white plug there and here's one upside down, a brown one. So I'm going to replace that and do you remember there was a plug right down there that I patched? Oh, that patch turned out really nice. Right here against the wall. OK, 
can't even see it now. It's so smooth, I don't even know where it's at exactly. I finished around that, so I still have to put that cover plate up. But before I put the cover, the plastic cover on the thermostat, I need to paint around the edge of this door casing. I caulked that all in. Now I need to paint that edge before I put that cover on, so I got enough room. Still got a caulk around this old casing. I think I'm going to use that and I'll caulk the inside edge right there and then I'll paint that to match the other side. You know, so it'll match. I'll just, I still have to do all that. And, uh, you know, so there's still a few, few more things I've got to do. But I need to do all this so that it matches up perfectly. I went ahead and I painted around this window up here and I even did that over this wood floor. I took my craft paper, see all those white lines? Well that's what I, I, I painted my baseboard on and uh, these long pieces of baseboard. I just painted it right down on the craft paper and I slid that craft paper up there against the wall, used my ladder, got up there and you know I don't think, I'm not sure, but I don't think I dropped any paint on this floor but it was a good thing that I put that down anyways, you know, because I wanted to protect my floor. I didn't have enough time to paint this window frame before I installed this floor. So sometimes you got to do things out of sequence. And if you do, hey, you just deal with it. Okay, so I've got a few things I've got to set up. And um, today I'm going to show you how to use that saw right there and we're going to start cutting this base. I've got to get this job done. So, you know, all the things that I've talked about, just about all the things I've showed you, different things on how to do it and I've posted it up on my YouTube channel. You got to check that stuff out. You know, if you think you, you can't, you couldn't do certain things, man, hey, if I can do it, you can do it. That's what this channel is all about. I don't show you anything I don't think you, can, you can't do yourself, okay? So stick around. I think you're going to learn a few things today.